back again. Apparently, there is a new uh, kid on the block, so to speak, in the world of video streaming. Real dot video. I've checked it out. It kind of reminds me of that Zeekly TV uh, from last year, I think it was. Uh, that's no longer around. Uh, do I think that this is going to be the big wave? No. It's it's going to be very, very hard to beat YouTube. A lot of people have tried. But you're not going to top the Google revenue. You're, you know, they've got a the Google cash cow backing them up. You're not going to beat that. You're not going to get the name recognition, especially since this is mostly like either crowdfunded or self-funded. So, which is kind of like Zeekly was. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm willing to wager they're just going to keep trying and keep trying and wind up running themselves out of the market. That's at least my two cents on it. So do I am I going to be making the move to real dot video or whatever the crap? No. I didn't do Zeekly. I'm not going to do them. I have no intentions, no want, no desire. Uh, I'm going to stick right here with YouTube. I'm to my knowledge, I've not I've been fortunate enough to not have had a strike on my channel. Uh, probably because I don't go around attacking people, or try not to. I've done a video or two doing so, but that was special circumstances. But for the most part, no, I do not do that. I do not go around trying to spread lies and deceit or anything else. I just pose my opinion, and the worst thing I do is I try to sing. That's literally about the worst thing I could do to you. So no, I will not be leaving YouTube. As long as YouTube has me around, I will not be leaving. And if they can this channel, I've got like three others. But that's my two cents on it. If that's your cup of tea, you that's fine by me. If you want to, you know, you're free to do whatever you want. If you want to support this real dot video, you can. Same with that. Like last year with that Zeekly TV. If you wanted to support Zeekly TV, that was your prerogative. I did not support them, and guess what? I'm still here on YouTube doing videos like I was before. Zeekly TV is gone. The chances of you beating, coming up with enough of a, anyone really doing much in the way of taking the, enough share to survive from Google, YouTube, it's highly unlikely. Um, especially when you see some of the people that are being drawn to this, it seems to be pretty much conspiracy theorists, and don't get me wrong, I like a good conspiracy theory, but... That's not the type of content that gets you know investors excited they want something sound and rational heck even YouTube is finding out or a lot of people on YouTube are finding out it's hard to get you know a good source of income for shooting videos and guns and whatnot. that's proving to be hard a lot of gun channels are shutting down which really stinks that's why you know Google's lost a lot of ad revenue for from that. That's why they're, they've keep tightening down on this and that. It's... YouTube is not perfect by a long shot. But YouTube ain't going away anytime soon. My gut's telling me this real dot video or whatever, it's going to go the way of the dodo. You think about all these video streaming sites that were around when YouTube, that got their start around when YouTube was starting out. How many of them are still around? From what I understand, there were dozens of them. Now you're down to like 
probably can count them on one hand. It's a tough, tough niche market. You've got to find a way to present it in such a way that you get outside investment. Zeekly TV tried to do that, do this, like I said, last year. But they also kind of did around the truther movement, too. The truther, conspiracy theories, theorists. That's kind of the demographic they were going after as well. As this real video seems to be doing. You're not going to get a whole lot of investors on that. I hate to tell you. So, my... My official statement is, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think YouTube is the safe bet, um, and I'm going to stick with YouTube. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm at the house. I'm going to go in. It's like right around 90 degrees. According to the car, it's 88 degrees. Anyway, I keep looking over at what's left of the baklava I made. Uh, we had a going away party and for a couple people and I made uh, baklava one of the people that was leaving uh, specifically has been asking for it for months literally for months I mean about the point in time she started talking to me it was right after finding out I made baklava and she'd been requesting it so on her last day I got that for her I figured that made that for her I figured that was a nice little thing and keep looking at because it, it was good anyway <laughs> got a little bit more ranty and rambly than or more ra rambly than i planned on let me know what you think i'm off of here uh later